Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and just want to review real quickly how you all post to a discussion board. It may be something you haven't done before, maybe something you haven't done in a while, but I'm going to go through the basic steps. Generally, you're going to go to course content, which could be weekly assignments, it could be course modules, depends on which of my classes you're in. But go to your course content, and then find the week assignment, week's assignment that we're looking for. I'm going to come down here to week two, and I'm going to come down to my module assessments or chapter assessments. It'll be where your graded assignments are. And I'm going to come down, and what I see is this says supply and demand discussion assignment. You'll see I've told you that this is a link to the discussion board. You know it's a link because it's got this little push pin. Um, you're always going to get instructions about what am I expecting, how many deadlines. You know when you have a discussion assignment, you have two deadlines. One for your initial post and then another deadline for your two response posts. Make sure that you read and follow all of the instructions for these discussion boards so that you don't miss out on points. I have a rubric that's posted if you need assistance or guidance. And of course you can always ask me. So I'm going to go to this link and it's going to say supply and demand discussion and it's going to open the discussion board. And you can see I'm an early adopter here. I'm the first person. So if I'm the first person then or I'm going to create my initial post I want to create a thread. When I create that thread it opens up this dialog box down here for me that looks works just like you know Word or any other word processor and I'm always going to want to put my name in the subject line so I'm going to say Professor Williams dog biscuit demand since that's the supply and demand assignment this week all right, so now I hit enter, and what happened? I now have a blank post. It's empty, nothing. So if I hover my cursor down near here near reply, I can hit edit. Well, when I hit edit, it's going to open that box again. See, so even hitting enter too soon isn't a bad thing. I'm just going to go right into the text box, and I'm going to say, this is my initial post um, for the discussion, which is not what you guys would put in um, for the discussion board. And I'm going to say this will be about 150 to 200 words. Now, I'm not counting words, but it needs to be enough to answer the questions. So I can use this nifty little spell check button right here. No misspelling found. Um, I could attach a file, I could attach a picture, I could include a recording from my webcam. So if I wanted my fellow students to see me talking on my webcam, I could do that. Um, and so once I'm done, and I'm pretty happy, if I wanted to attach a file, I would just browse, just like you would do an attachment in an email. And if I'm happy with my post, then I'm going to come over here to the side, and I'm going to hit submit. When I hit submit, what you'll see is success. It'll get, give you a little success. And then when I come back to the discussion forum, which I can do through these breadcrumbs up here, there's my post. So let's say now I'm the second person. So if, let's say I want to respond to Professor Williams. I'm going to click. Right here it's going to say reply. So I'm going to hit reply. And I'm going to get the same kind of window I had before. And it's going to say I am now replying to your post. Um, I love dogs. And so since I love dogs, I'm going to use this little smiley face. 
and I'm going to put a little Joe Cool there. And I'm going to spell check it and make sure it's okay. And when I'm done with my posting, I can hit, come over here and hit submit. Let's say that I get halfway through and the phone rings. Halfway through and Wanda needs to go out. I can hit save draft and come back and finish it later. Just remember, you aren't going to get credit for it and it's not going to appear until you hit submit. Once I hit submit, I get the same thing. Success, my thread was posted. And so now, if I come back into the forum, I'm jumping all around. What I can see is when I come into this, there are two posts. And if I click on this, I will see not only my initial post, but the response post. Generally, don't carry on a conversation with yourself in the discussion board. Respond to somebody else. Um, but you can talk to yourself if you want to. So that's really all there is. If you have questions, if you have problems, if you don't think it posted right, just let me know, and I will be more than happy to come in to Blackboard and take a look at what you've done. So should be great discussions this semester, and I will see you guys around Blackboard.